So carrying on, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 4. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for man to utter. See, so what the Apostle Paul, what he saw in the spiritual realm, he was saying that it's not even lawful for man to speak because that's how marvelous and amazing the spiritual realm was. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 5 Of, of such and one will I glory yet of myself will not glory but in my infirmities. For though I would desire to glory I shall not be a fool for I will say the truth but now I forbear lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be or that he heareth of me. So Apostle Paul is saying that it's not it's not wise and it's not good to be prideful because we're supposed to exalt the Lord because without the Lord we are nothing 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 and 7 and least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelations there was given to me a thorn in the flesh the, the messenger of Satan to buffet me lest I should be exalted above measure. So the Lord revealed a lot of revelations to the Apostle Paul. So this is why he went through a lot of tribulation because the Lord buffeted him to keep him humble. That way he didn't you know, get uh, prideful because that, that prideful demon is, is very strong. Second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 8 For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness because through through the Lord putting putting his elect through the fire through tribulations it's purifying the hopeful elect they become better, they become stronger, but not the wicked. Okay, the, the wicked are like straw. Okay, you, you throw straw or wood in the fire, what happens? It burns up. But not, not the hopeful elect. The hopeful elect are as gold and silver. Because when you put gold and silver in the fire, it doesn't burn up. It purifies it. So this is what the Lord is doing to his hopeful elect. So when the Lord puts the hopeful elect through tribulations, it's for your embitterment. It's not to destroy you. Remember that, Akium. That the Lord is doing it to purify you, to make you ready, make you better. For most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Yahweh may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 10. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, and persecutions. See that's so what Apostle Paul took pleasure in all that. He rejoiced in distresses for Yahweh sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Because the Lord has to has to beat you down to build you back up, to purify you. He has to drag you through the mud. You see, because this kingdom that we're living in is totally corrupt. It's totally upside down. So the Lord has to put you through the fire to purify you. He has the Lord has to beat you down, but to build you back up strong see that so right
right there. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, chapter 1 through 11 is what we just read. Okay, that was the vision that Apostle Paul received from our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Saying that how marvelous, how magnificent it was. Just look how on the planet Earth there's, you know, waterfalls, rivers, oceans, the skies, the animals. See how beautiful those things are? So just imagine in the spiritual realm, in the heavens. Isaiah 55. Verse 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So the Lord is saying, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, that the decree that when He gives an order, that it will be accomplished so these prophecies will come to pass such as World War III and that Karagma that new digital currency Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 those of you who believe in the Lord do not take that mark the Lord is telling us that's a very major prophecy. So keep going out there, Akim and Aqua, who believe in the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Keep the faith and stay on the path. Shalom to you.